And still on news on the hour, uh, Nigeria is working towards producing 60% of its pharmaceutical products locally to reduce the over-dependence on international communities. This was made known by the Director General of the National Agency for Food, Drug Administration and Control, NAFDAG, Professor Moji Adeye, at a virtual conference with the theme, Season the Moment, providing faster access to quality medical products during COVID-19 and beyond, organized by the Management Sciences for Health, MSH. According to our DA, right now, Nigeria manufactures only 30% of our products locally and imports 70%. She said the goal is to change it to around 60% locally and 40% import. This is going to really contribute positively to reduce falsified substandard medicines and improve the health of the population. She said pharmaceutical manufacturing industries cannot survive without a good regulatory system and as such, stringent measures are to be adopted for a healthy system. The conference, which had participants from some African countries, was specifically on novel approaches em emerging from a COVID-19 response that can be effectively leveraged to respond to the pandemic, especially in Africa. We are now joined by a former chairman of the Pharmaceutical Society of Nigeria, Lagos chapter, uh, Benga Lubowale. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, good morning. Thank you for having me. First of all, can we really source 60% of our pharmaceutical products locally? Well, uh, there is nothing impossible. Where there is a will, there will always be a way, even though it's a tall order. I mean, going from a 30% to 60%, that's like about doubling the figure. So it's not an impossible task. But then so many things have to be put in place to ensure this is visible. Uh, what, are, what are the things that must be put in place? And uh, what are the likely challenges to attaining the goal of 60% uh, local production? Well, uh, first and foremost, we need to provide the needed investment environment. You know, I mean, uh, going from 30 to 60, like I mentioned, is a very daunting task. But then it is not an impossible uh, task if we are all ready, all the stakeholders, I mean, both the pharmaceutical manufacturers, the, the regulators, and the government. You know, uh, number one is that as of today, most of the raw materials and the active pharmaceutical uh, ingredients used in manufacturing drugs are imported into the country from Asia. And uh, what this means is that uh, either we start sourcing the uh, active pharmaceutical ingredients locally, or we continue to import this one, whereby we now uh, compound them to hand uh, products, which are the drugs. You know, either way, it is not going to be easy because it will take a lot of uh, government uh, interest and government initiative to encourage this. When I talk about having the right investment environment, what I mean in essence is that you see, uh, the business of uh, pharmaceutical manufacturing, just like any other business, is supposed to be an investment to the investor, which means at the end of the day, they'll be expecting a return on investment. And whereby you don't make this sector very attractive enough for investors to come in, then it becomes difficult. And then what are the things that are not making it very attractive? You talk about the logistics and infrastructure, which are not yet in place. You talk about the fluctuating, I mean, and the, and the difficulty in the sourcing for fund. Access to fund is still a major problem in this our climate. You talk about the excessive tax imposition on manufacturers, you know, and then don't forget the fact that uh, uh, drugs are very special commodity. And you need all the needed assistance to players in this field so that we make it interesting, lucrative, and profitable for them to venture into. Yeah. Because as it is now, it is easier for the players in the, in the industry to bring in products from Asia and repack it here and then sell. It is easier that way. You know, they will not have so much overhead in terms of the cost in, uh, in Kyoto, and they will be able to maximally profit, uh, make profit from their effort. 
Now, if he wants to encourage local manufacturing to jump to make it double what it is currently now, a lot of incentives must be put to play. A lot and a lot. We must we must protect the local manufacturers from the external aggressiveness, from the competitors. So we must make sure that they have the right climb to thrive. It is not impossible, but it's a daunting task. All right, and uh, Professor Ade is of the opinion that should the 60% be attained, it would contribute positively to reducing falsified substandard medicines and also improve the health of the population. Do you agree? Absolutely, absolutely. You know, I, I have said it at various fora that, uh, you know, issue of drugs generally is health security. It's about health security. What we witness currently during this pandemic of COVID-19 has, has, has really exposed us our inadequacy. At a point, the Asian countries that we import from stop exporting these drugs out of their country because they were thinking first about their own local consumption. And at this point, a lot of share became very, very, you know, uh, empty in the pharmacies outlets because the importation is not coming in. The imported product is not coming in. And we have nothing. I mean, we are talking about between 10 to 30 percent of local, uh, you know, uh, production which is grossly inadequate to meet our population needs. So I agree with the DG Navdak on the need, on the fact that yes, which uh, it increasing the local uh, manufacturing capacity, it will improve public health, it will, and it will enhance access to quality drugs, you know, and it will create jobs, better jobs, employment for the, 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 the teaming masses of the, of, of the nation. So it's the way to go, ideally. Uh, do, do you think we can trust, you know, um, quality control um, with regards to local production? Do you think that we have a, an environment that has been secure enough to ensure uh, the quality of, you know, these drugs that are going to be placed into, in the Nigerian market? Uh, well, uh, I, I, I think, and I can say with all authority that, in fact, local manufactured products are far, far more reliable than the so-called imported products, in particular from Asia. Because when you are uh, manufacturing locally here, you are under direct searchlight of the, of the regulator. So it becomes difficult for you to do otherwise, but to do the right thing. You cannot cut corners. The regulators are directly on your neck, ensuring that you come out with the right product. So for me, local products are far, far better than imported ones, in particular from Asia. In terms of quality assurance, the regulator, NAFDAQ specifically, has standard laboratory, which I'm aware yeah. of. Yes, there might be that need to improve on what they have currently. There might be that need to probably get some of the model, the, 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 the latest model of uh, equipment. But I know that NAFTA currently has constituted, is trying its best. They can do better with more funding. No doubt about that. All right. And uh, uh, Professor Adeye also talked about evolving uh, stringent measures for good regulatory system uh, to ensure the survival of the pharmaceutical manufacturing industries. What, what's your take on that? I also agree with her in totality. Don't forget I mentioned earlier that uh, part of the challenges facing local manufacturer is the fact that they don't have an, an enabling environment. You know, they cannot compete with the Asian, uh, uh, Asian uh, importers. You understand what I'm saying? So if you, you make it easier for them by imposing stringent measures on importers so that you discourage importation, and then encourage local manufacturing. You also give lots of tax relief to, to, to the local manufacturers, make them have easy access to finance. Then, of course, they can compete side by side with the best of imported products. No doubt about that. Thank you very much, Gbenga uh, Lubowale, for uh, sharing with us uh, on uh, the program. Looking forward to speaking with you again. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you.